guess if we start with, with Tuesday night, I mean, there wouldn't have been many um, outside of Yeovil would have given you any chance there. That kind of result really sends a message out, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Like, you know what I mean? It's been, a, it's been a work in progress, if I'm being honest. Like, everybody's worked hard and the staff have made us obviously work hard as well. So, it's a props to everybody. Yeah, and, and, and over the last couple of years, there haven't been too many times when you've been able to, to smile and, and it's been a, a great atmosphere around in terms of, of getting a few wins. It, it must be nice to be around the place at the moment. No, I definitely. I believe like the gaffers helped change everybody's mindset and look at it as a positive of getting out of the situation that we were in. So hopefully we can keep maintaining this form and, and strive upwards. Because yeah, he hasn't sort of mollycoddled you, has he? I mean, he's said straight away, look, you where you are, you need to finish above that line. He's not taking the pressure off you, has he? No, not really, to be fair, but he just, you know I mean, he demands performance every day, whether it's in training or on a, on, on a match day. So, you know I mean, that's what we've got to try and deliver. And, and I guess when you see that's working, then you just think, right, let's, let's just keep doing this. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, there's always adjustments that we have to make at times as well, but we just got to maintain the, the stuff that's got us here at the same time. And Tuesday, a bit of a landmark for you, I understand as well. A couple of hundred games, that's, that's not a bad little record. Yeah, I didn't even realise until afterwards, to be fair, so happy to have, have made that as well. Yeah. Are, are you not much of a stats man? You don't know exactly how many goals and all those kind of things? No, not really. It's very like, especially like in the situation that we've been in, it's just, just hoping that the team get the results whether I'm in the team or not. So. I mean, 200 games is a, is a good few years you've spent your life at, at Yeovil, and I guess you've been there for some of the real highs and, and, and for some of the lows as well. It's, it's been a, a real roller coaster. Yeah, like you said, a lot of ups and downs, but you know, we're here now, we're just, this is the next one we need to try and achieve. Okay, so, so this weekend, I mean, having done so well against three of the top teams in the last four games you've played, I guess you just got to make sure you keep those standards high against a team that isn't quite at the same, at the same level. Yeah, like the, man, like the manager and, and the boys have said to each other as well, we've just got to maintain what we've been doing lately and just try and get a result. Yeah, and, and Mansfield, again, not one of the bigger clubs in the other division, but over the last 18 months or so have, have done pretty well. Yeah, they're up there, you know, so it's, every game at this, at this present moment is a, is a big game for us, so we've got to take it in our stride. Mm -hmm. Do you spend much time looking at the table at the moment? Is it something that you, you really you know exactly where you are compared to all the other teams around you? Yeah, the table's in our face every day, to be honest, yeah. yeah. And, and does that make it not easy to focus because you, you're concentrating on the match, but it, you know exactly what's there in front of you, don't you, I guess? Yeah, like I said, every day we come in and the gaffer shows off the table, so we, we know what, we, what, what our aim is, basically, so every day we're looking at it. Yeah, he's been showing us the line, he's, uh, he's taped to the floor all over the place as well. Again, it's just a little reminder, isn't it? Yeah, yeah definitely, you know, it plays with your conscious and your subconscious at the same time, so fair play. Fantastic, thank you. What do you think when you see this line every day when you walk in? Just know you've just got to get over the line, in no matter whatever it is you do, whether it is in training or outside of football as well. And have you seen difference in some of the way the teammates are now acting under Darren Way? Has there been huge changes? Yeah, definitely. You know, like I said, the gaff is always demanding, whether it's on the pitch, and he always says, you know, what I mean, like he doesn't know what we're doing off the pitch, but he just hopes that we maintain a level of professionalism off it as well. And um, other managers certainly have taken notice in the change of form at Yeovil. Um, do you think they perhaps may have underestimated you in the past but won't do so now? Possibly, you know, like you know, when I was like, it was really very low in the table so as much as people will say they might not, you know, a lot of people will still look at it and think, you know, they're very low in the table, we should get a result but, you know, I mean, we've ho hopefully possibly changed people's opinions on this as well now. Thank you. Just to reflect on your 200 games, Nathan, looking back, two spells you've had at the club, what have been the, the highlights for you during your time at Yeovil? No, to be fair, obviously the goal that I scored. And I think just some of the people that I've grown up with and, and, and learned of, to be honest, so yeah, there's a few things, a lot to name. I bet when you first arrived here, you didn't think that one day you'd be celebrating 200 games for the club, or did you? No, not really, you know, first professional club, we're just happy to just become a professional footballer and just try and work as hard as possible. And what is it about the club, you know, that has kept somebody like you here for so long? You know, I think it's the, the, like I said, the people around the club and it's not just like, a, it just make it like, the, even down to like the staff that run like the background stuff, like everybody just seems like a, a close-knit family, you know, so it's a good positive all around the club in a whole. And as you say, you've learned off some players whilst you've been here. Obviously, you had a bit of time away at Chesterfield as well during that time. Mm -hmm. Who are the players that stick out in your mind that you played alongside the Yeovil? Um, obviously, you can always have your Terrell Forbes, Terry Skiverton, Lee Peltier, Darren Way, um, 
Nathan Jones. There's a lot, you know. Like just everybody I've literally come across, I've always learned something from them. So it couldn't even have been a bad person, you know. I mean, I'll take something from that, and that'd be obviously something like not what to do and stuff like that.